Hi guys and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be predicting the scores of week 18 of this, the 2018-2019 Premier League season. Unfortunately, as you can see, Nathan has been unable to join me this evening. He's otherwise engaged. So first, what we're going to do is have a quick look back at how well we got on last week. So as you can see, Nathan came away with six points with no perfect scores and I came away with seven points with just the one perfect score and that was the 3-1 victory for Manchester City over Everton. Looking in the comments section, the top scorer of the week was Francis Bellardi with a magnificent score of 16 points. For those of you who are playing along in the Fantasy Football League, here is the top 10. And we have a new leader this week, and that is Humanity FC, managed by Suman Gautam. And he's currently on 1,118 points. And last game week, he had 76 points. The top scorer of the week, though, in the fantasy football was Lawton FC, managed by Will Lawton. And he had a great score of 81 points. And overall, now he's on 892 points. Myself, I came away with 51 points, which gives me a, a grand total of 938 points. And Nathan had 33 points for the week. I think you'd be disappointed with that. And he had an overall score of 918 points for the season. But enough of last week. Let's crack on and get stuck in to week 18. The first fixture of the weekend is Wolves against Liverpool. This is on Friday evening. Uh, Liverpool in fine form, top of the table now, but also Wolves have been in, you know, pretty decent form themselves. However, I think the class of Liverpool is going to shine through. Their front three seem to be coming back onto form as well at the moment. And I can see Liverpool running out here 2-1 victors. And Nathan agrees, however, he thinks Liverpool are going to win by one more goal. And he's gone for a 3-1 victory to the Reds. Next up, we got Arsenal against Burnley. Arsenal... Losing last week for the first time in, I don't know, what is it, 16 games or more um, against Southampton. Uh, Burnley, I think they narrowly lost 1-0 against Tottenham. So I think in this fixture, Arsenal are going to return to winning ways and I'm going for a 2-0 win to the Gunners. And Nathan agrees, however, he's gone for one more goal for the Gunners and he's gone for 3-0. Next up, we've got Bournemouth against Brighton in the first of the three o'clock kickoffs, as because um, Arsenal against Burnley's kicking off at half twelve, I think it is Saturday lunchtime. But Bournemouth, Brighton, bit of a derby there on the south coast. So I think Bournemouth, you know, a little bit of indifferent form at the moment. Brighton, you know, they've been playing okay-ish this season. They're, they're doing pretty well in the league. They're now up to thirteenth position. Um, but I think Bournemouth are going to have too much for the Seagulls and I've gone for a 2-1 win. And Nathan agree agrees he's actually gone for the same scoreline, a 2-1 win for the Cherries as well. Next up we've got Chelsea against Leicester. Um, Leicester having terrible problems at the moment. I think they've only won once in the last six fixtures. So I think this is going to be a straightforward win for the Blues and I'm going for a 2-0 win at Stamford Bridge for them. And Nathan agrees, however, he thinks it's going to be a bit of a high scorer. This one a little bit narrower as well. So he's gone for a 3-2 win to Chelsea. Next up we've got Huddersfield against Southampton. Southampton, of course, coming off that fine win against Arsenal last time out. Um, I think Southampton, the Saints are going to continue that little bit of form, that little bit of a buzz around the, the camp at the moment. Huddersfield, second from bottom of the table. Difficult to be on their patch. However, I think Southampton are going to go there and carve out a 2-1 narrow win. Nathan, on the other hand, he thinks it's going to be a tight affair and he's gone for a 1-1 score draw. Next up, we've got Manchester City against Crystal Palace. Manchester City down into second place at the moment with Liverpool on their fine run of form, beating Man United, of course, in the last their last fixture. I think Manchester City are going to be way too strong for Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace struggle to score most of the time. They're down in 15th position. Man City are going to be, you know, they're going to want to get back up to that up to the, the, the summit of the Premier League and I can see the Citizens winning this one 4-0. And Nathan agrees he's actually gone for the same scoreline in this fixture and he's gone for 4-0 as well. Next up we got Newcastle against Fulham. A little bit of a, you could say, a bottom of the table clash. Fulham really need to win this fixture. They're currently bottom of the table, just on 9 points. Newcastle in 14th position. They did gain that narrow away victory last weekend against Huddersfield. 
and I think they're going to win this one again. I think they're going to the Magpies are going to come away with a 2-1 victory. And Nathan agrees. He's got actually gone for the same scoreline, and he's gone for 2-1 as well. Next up, we got West Ham against Watford. Watford had a, had a real good home win last weekend against Cardiff after having a you know a bit of a poor run of form for them. West Ham doing really well up to ninth at the moment and if you know results go for them they could possibly go up into uh, sixth position I think however I think this one's going to end up in a stalemate I'm expecting goals and I can see this one ending up as a 2-2 draw Nathan on the other hand thinks home advantage is going to pay for West Ham and you can see this one being a 3-2 win for the Hammers Next up, we've got the evening kickoff between Cardiff and Manchester United. Manchester United have parted ways with Jose Mourinho, of course. That's probably going to give them a bit of a, a bolster for this fixture. Probably you'll see Pogba coming back into the team. If this had, this fixture had taken them a week ago at Cardiff City Stadium, then I, you could have seen a Cardiff win. But it pains me to say, in this fixture, I think the Red Devils are going to win 2 0. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Cardiff can win this this match, but with that sack in, I can only see one victor in this one, unfortunately. And Nathan, he seems to think that Cardiff, with that magnificent support behind them at the Cardiff City Stadium, he thinks it's going to end up in a 1-1 draw. The final fixture of the weekend sees the Toffees Everton come up against Tottenham Hotspur. Everton in really indifferent form at the moment, really need to get back to winning ways. Tottenham... You know, they had an OK victory last week end against Burnley, only narrowly beaten them, but they have been, you know, playing in Europe, play, playing a lot of games recently. You know, that a lot of their players come from the World Cup. And I can see that being a fact then in this, in this fixture. So I've gone for a 1-1 draw in this game. Nathan, on the other hand, thinks Spurs are con going to continue their fine form and he can see a 2-1 win for the Lily Whites up at Goodison Park. So that concludes our predictions for week 18 of this, the 2018-2019 Premier League season. As always, I'm going to leave a template of these fixtures in the description. All you need to do is copy and paste your predictions into your comment. And like Francis Bellardi last week, you can get a, a shout out in the next video. Of course, it's coming up to the busy Christmas period now. So hopefully there's going to be videos coming out before each of these game weeks so it's gonna you know it's gonna, it's gonna be very congested a lot of hard work for us um, a lot of hard work for the players as well so stay tuned for some real good videos over the festive period but for now I'm gonna bid you farewell and we'll both see you in the next video